Today is July 8th, 2013. You're watching Speedrun. Activision Blizzard is renewing its membership with the Entertainment Software Association following a five-year absence after its departure in 2008. Joining Acti in membership is Chinese holding company Tencent. Both companies will get to take advantage of the ESA services, which include dealing with E3, IP and anti-piracy issues, and business and consumer research. The Xbox Live Summer of Arcade will kick off on August 7th. Games up for grabs include Starbreeze Studios Adventure Brothers A Tale of Two Sons on launch day, co-op brawler Charlie Murder on August 14th, a remake of a 1992 sci-fi platformer flashback from its original creator on August 21st, and the grand finale, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows on August 27th. Get them while they're hot and on sale next month. We talked to the developers behind Johann Sebastian Joust about their next game, Mutazione. Founders Douglas Wilson and Nils Denikin have been incubating the game idea for years, a painterly adventure. Players will take on the role of a lost girl transported to another alternate reality and interact with its mutant inhabitants on her journey through their ruined world. If you're curious about the origins of Joust and the studio's new game and what the future holds, check out our full interview. We also talked to the team behind the Anki Drive, a video game in real life with remote-controlled cars tethered to your iPhone. Neat, right? The technology was unveiled at Apple's WWDC 2013 keynote. Co-founder Boris Softman told us the tech is, from a tech standpoint, a video game inside an iOS device that matches the physical world. The software is slated to hit Apple devices this fall. Civilization V's second and last expansion, Brave New World, brings the game into surprising new territory. We found it a fun, approachable, and engaging addition to the title, bringing new mechanics and elements that serve as the climax to the game's nearly three-year evolution. In new game news, the Human Augmentation Revolution is coming to mobile this week. Deus Ex The Fall will launch on July 11th for iOS. Aliens Colonial Marines is getting single-player campaign DLC according to a list of leaked trophies. Sega has yet to confirm, but it looks like it may be the final piece of the Colonial Marine season pass. And Kingdom Hearts creator Tetsuya Nomura is mulling the addition of Star Wars and Marvel content to the Disney Final Fantasy crossover, seeing as how Disney owns Marvel and acquired Lucasfilm last year. Yeah, please don't! We here at Polygon want to express our deepest condolences to the friends and family of Ryan Davis and his colleagues at Giant Bomb. Our hearts are with you today.